is the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vince. Now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. If he's a coach. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Iron Michael Chao. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. The So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Beautiful body kick. That punch no good. Way to hide that leg kick. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. <laughs> Big knee there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! He is all about that left kick to the body. to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Liver kick. Nice. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. situation with this fighter you're potentially playing with fire well these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here dc there's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations he knows exactly when to throw exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight there's a song there right know when to hold him know when, when to hold him, hold him. Yep, absolutely the strikes continuing to pile up 27 total strikes have found the mark for conor mcgregor Five minutes in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Yeah, the strike lands there somehow. 
though his opponent stayed up on I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, more perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 23 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new USC lightweight champion of the world, Oh, take my money, D. See, we got a new UFC lightweight champion. This is a belt that doesn't always change hands very often. There's a new king at 155 pounds. The most exciting moment in sport, when Dana White grabs the belt around a new champion's yes. waist. Take a moment, son. Breathe it in. You are now the best fighter in the world.